So how do you test a capacitor while the condenser is running? Genesis here is going to show us. He's going to take a step by step through that. And so take it away. OK, so I'm going to be checking this capacitor here. It's a 30 over 5 microfarad or I'm sorry, a 35 over 5 microfarad capacitor. Uh, I'm going to be kicking on the equipment here in just a second. I'm going to be checking it while it's running. So 35 over 5, that 35 feeds that compressor. Uh, that's what helps the compressor start up. Um, and then it also uh, alleviates the amp draw while it runs. And that five microfarad is what helps this motor up here on the top. Same thing, it helps it start up and alleviates the amp draw and basically continue, makes it continue to run. If this capacitor fails, uh, basically this whole outside system won't come on. And yeah, I mean, we got no cooling. So that 35, there's a, to a tolerance of about 6% plus or minus. So you can expect to see that capacitor above 6% or below. If you do the math on the five microfarads, the lowest that I would expect to see it is 4.7 microfarads. And I'm gonna show you that number here in just a second once I do the calculation. But for the 35 plus or minus, if you pull out a little calculator, 35 minus 6%, you normally don't really see them you know, above, you usually find them below. So minus 2.1 equals 32.9. That's the minimal uh, tolerance that I'd expect to see it at. If it's below that, it's bad to Gotcha. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick it on. So what you do to check the capacitor is you get a multimeter, uh, you check amp draws on the perm here, which is gonna be this blue wire. And we get 3.3. That's how many amps that compressor is pulling, currently pulling uh, off of this uh, capacitor. But if you go to the black wire right here on the right here next to it, that's going to be coming off of that contactor. It's going to be a little higher. It's 5.2. So that capacitor is alleviating, alleviating the amp drop by like, you know, two amps or so. Okay, that's where that, you know, the beauty of the capacitor is. It's it, it alleviates the amp draws. So if we go back, we were at 3.2, 3.3. I'm gonna write that down. So 3.3 times 2652. And then and then you're gonna divide it by the voltage, and I'll show you here how to get the voltage in just a second. That 2652 is your capacitor's resonating frequency, and it's okay. measured in hertz. Okay. So, 3.3 times 2652, it gives you 8,751. I'm gonna just do that, do that one more time. 8,751, take a screenshot of that, divide it by the voltage. So what you do is you grab your meat, your, your multimeter again, you get, go to the common and you go to the Herm and it gives you a voltage down here. It's three point, uh, 338 volts, 338 volts AC. So you divide it by 338 equals 25. 25.8 microfarads. The minimal that I wanted to see it at was 32. This capacitor is on its way out. And then uh, you do the same thing for the fan side of it. So now you get your fan amp draw. It's 0.41 or 4.4. Same thing, 0.4. 
times 2652 divided by the voltage. Take a screenshot of that. I had it already. 0.4 times 2652 equals 1,000. And then you divide it by the voltage. It does get a little tricky. You do gotta be a little careful. You gotta have a pretty decent insulation here on your test probes. Otherwise, you do run a, 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 a chance of like shorting the capacitor as well. So you do have to have that. So you just check your voltage there. And then you come around the back. Woo. Little narrow. 288 volts. Three point six, and it's at a five. The minimal is four point seven. So at this point, from these this two numbers here, we we're at three point six. And if we go back to the picture, we were at twenty five or so. Uh, we're supposed to be at the minimal of thirty two. We're supposed to be at a minimal of thirty two and we're at 25 and then on the fan side a minimal of 4.7 microfarad reading and we were at 3.6 so this like i said this capacitor is on its way out so why do you prefer uh to test a capacitor while the system is running well there's multiple reasons to check it this way uh for one i think it reduces you know the time span it takes to check it uh when you check it with while well, without it running you have to cut the power off you have to disconnect about one, two, three, four wires coming off of that capacitor. Uh, luckily for this one, you know, they, they're color coded, but on a new one, they're probably not. So you got to figure out, you know, where, where your common lands, where your, your Herm lands and where your fan lands. But the thing is, if you were to check it, you have to un unhook four different wires and then you also have to unmount it, bring it out here uh you know you set your multimeter to microfarad which in my case it has the option to um and then basically undo all of that so you have to remount it rewire rehook up repower it up get some amp draws instead i'd rather just do some simple math and yeah, yeah. and potential just, potentially eliminating uh, any mistakes like putting it back yeah yeah um, like basically not wiring it in right uh i have come across other like capacitors that have been left wired in wrong to where like the Herm, which is this blue wire is left on the yellow uh, and then vice versa, the yellow was hooked up on the Herm. And next thing we know, we got a, a bad motor, which was at one point diagnosed okay. Next thing we know that motor is no good, like within the six months time frame. Mm. Uh, now, another thing is uh, I'd actually rather check it while on the load because it's where it's actually like a capacitor is actually being you know used you're basically getting the, the the actual microfarad reading as the unit runs right um rather than if you pull it down you know you let it cool down and whatnot you know the microfarad readings might not be nearly as accurate gotcha sweet well thank you sir mm -hmm.